was that? That's okay. Hi, everyone. <laughs> there we go. Hi. How's my audio? Yeah. Is it okay? Hi. Yeah. yeah, it sounds fine here. Okay, yeah. that's good. Yeah. Awesome. The, um, Hello. Yeah, hi. Um, so, yeah, so it was lovely seeing the uh, the, uh, the monitor there for a moment. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. I was no, like, is my fine. phone just really dirty? No, it's okay. usually... <laughs> It's usually me something like that happens to, so yeah, I was yeah. really, really you know, glad it wasn't me it's, for a change. But it's yeah. my first time, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> no, but thank you very much for agreeing to join me on this oh. Instagram Live thing. Anytime, anytime. Yeah, no, much appreciated. And uh, I, see, I see the whole chat kicking off now, so. Hi, um, everyone. I don't How's know everybody how I'm doing? Gonna, I don't know how I'm going to manage this, so. Um, <laughs> manage what? Are we supposed to be managing the chat? I don't, how do we read? No, I you know, I can only the, see like two of them oh, at no. a time. Uh, I see you my know, friends. Yeah, you know the uh, the bit I said about you know the the hobby part of hangout and Hobbit. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Hobby. Yeah, that's not. Yeah, that's um, not it's, it's, remember, I remember when me and Peachy used to do it. It was hangout or hobby. you don't get both. You do not get <laughs> both. You get one or the other. <laughs> let, 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 let me just push my models and paints to one side. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I have a miniature here. <laughs> Um, but I don't know if we'll get anything done, <laughs> as, no. as is as is the way, as is tradition. <laughs> yeah. So yes, um, yeah. So yeah, welcome everybody. Hope everyone is Hi. okay. And I mean, you, if you let us know, what, I always ask what people are doing for hobby. I would try and read them if I can see them. But you know, let us know. Hi, Lewis. Hi, everyone. Hi, hi, hi. There's going to be half an hour of pies just saying hi to everybody. Um, hi everyone! Yeah. Hi! This is all I do on my Twitch stream. I'm just like, hi everyone, for like three hours. <laughs> your your, <laughs> your Twitch streams done. are amazing. Really? Hi. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can anyone professionally critique my Twitch streams? Because it's just, it's just chaos. It's <laughs> <laughs> people seem to like it's that fine. though, which is good. I, I fully intended on being one of those Twitch streamers who are like really chill and they just paint with like music on in the background and then they look up and they're like, oh yeah, I'm using the colour blue. <laughs> and then they just go <laughs> back to it for like five hours. I fully intended to be that kind of streamer. Really? And I'm just not. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's, fun. <laughs> it's, fun. It's, fun. It's, it's, it's fun though. It's fun. Um, it is fun. I love it. I'm, I'm really yeah. enjoying it. Yeah, no. It's, Zero it's chill really, is more fun. It's I agree. really, really good. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I know Carnage in the chat. Yes, I know, right. Um, is it Carnage in the chat? Yeah, I can yeah, only see like one of them at a time. Hi. Yeah, mm. because Hi, because it's all done like on, on a phone as well. Like, I don't know mm -hmm. whether the processing capability is not that great. So like when the chat oh, goes probably. really fast, it just like has has a bit of a Dies. fit. And I was sort of like, oh. <laughs> uh, um, and it keeps going, yeah, it's keep, I keep hearing That's bleeps, okay, I'll right? leave that to you. You're the host. I can just chill. I I ain't got nothing to do here. This but this, this thing does, this thing doesn't have a host. It's the same oh, no. thing. But yeah, whatever. Um, oh, no. Yeah. So so <laughs> for anyone that's in the chat, then I'm sure you don't need any introduction at all. But um, maybe a yeah, little one. So, maybe a yeah, little yeah. a little one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So um, yeah, Louise of Rogue Hobbies. Hi. Um, yes. Um, Welcome to this, whatever this is. Um, but just get, have a bit of chat about some hobby bits and pieces, if that's all right. And, yeah, uh, absolutely. Yeah, just nerd, nerd out for a bit. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. If you have questions to ask, I'm here to answer them, both yeah. you and the and the chat. I can't read the chat, so you're just going yeah, to have to be like okay. my chat so, mediator, if I'm, that's okay. <laughs> I'm going to say the best thing for people to do is if they've got questions, is at the bottom. There's a little um, speech bubble with a question mark. Click on that and you can answer, ask questions there. And, and I'm that'll flag visual aids for you. That, <laughs> that, that'll flag up differently than to uh, in the chat. So, yeah. <laughs> I can't guarantee I'm going to okay, read good. everything though, but um, yeah. We'll um, try. If you yeah, ask I'll, multiple I'll try times, best. don't spam um, us, but like, if you ask a few yeah. times, if you have a really yeah. pressing question, I'm sure so, we'll get around to it. Marlon does stuff is asked um what are you guys <gasps> painting today yeah that, well okay painting painting what yeah. are you painting you go first you go first i'm not painting anything i was going to what? be but yeah oh. I, 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 <laughs> you I, tricked I, me I you said on, we were I, painting i was working on this guy <gasps> he's cool 
so I need to get my face really close know, to right? the phone to see it. Oh wow, jump scare. He's great. Yeah, yeah. That's so I, cool. Uh, Are we both working on turnips? Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, Yay! I um, I I uh, I did the um, Leviathan launching at Warhammer World, like the overnight. Oh yeah. Oh, what like the midnight one? Mm. I remember hearing about this, and I, I didn't I didn't actually know it was a thing. Yeah, yeah. And um, tell me, t can you can you tell me about it because I still don't understand what it was. So yeah, basically, um, Warhammer World like shut, and then there was like fifty spaces that people could yeah. get, and you basically what it meant was is that once it was shut, you had full reign of like Warhammer. World. So the shop stayed open for the whole night. The exhibition was free and Until open. Until when? What were the what were the hours? So like it. Was, it was like 10 o'clock it started and then like nine yeah. o'clock in the morning what i thought it was until like no midnight. no literally like all through the night and bugman's was open oh my god yeah, it's, it's something surreal about like two o'clock in the morning so going into surreal. bugman's to have a burger like <laughs> it would be it would be four o'clock in the morning for me like were people good. not falling asleep what was the rules about falling asleep uh no one did fall Honestly, although Ashley was with That's me, so I weird. think. Yeah, but no, I. I, I, I <laughs> hi everyone. Emma's here. I just noticed. I just noticed. I'm Emma's missing here, so I'm happy. everybody. Hi, it's fine. It's I, I just so saw quickly. one of my friends, and I'm happy now. So yeah. it's okay. <laughs> so you have your, yeah. your, your. You're doing your disco spore mine, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a community project. I like yeah. saying it's a community project because it makes me sound fancy. Um, but what it is is because. I really struggle to paint and talk at the same time. Mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, guys, this is on my Twitch chat. I'm like, okay, guys, here's a spore of mine. And you can't see him right now because it is... So I do like the influencer yep. thing where I'm the like, Ooh. Thing. no, you still can't see him. You still can't see him. It's anyway, <laughs> it's a spore of mine and he's got loads of like little scales on him. Yeah. And everybody in my Twitch chat gets to pick a color. So if someone right. like says a color, um, I'll kind of like paint it on there and they get to like pick two colors so I can blend between the two and it's just it's just gonna end up looking really wacky no. and I think it's gonna end up looking a little bit zinchy like yeah. a little stained glass window thingy and I think like because I really like the Lovecraftian influences on both zinch and tyranids yeah. I think it could be a really cool zinch miniature and that's my kind of like thought for it because I wish you could see it but like we can't just, well, like, the, the, the one way people can see it is oh. after this, if they don't already, is go over to your Instagram page and give you a follow, and it's all on there. So, oh yeah, <laughs> like and subscribe. I can say yeah. that now. All that jazz. <laughs> all that jazz. All that. Uh, all that jazz. And yeah, if you want to join in with painting it, you can follow me on Twitch. There we go. But also, rogue hobbies. There, I'm good at this. <laughs> I'm really good at self promotion. Oh Thank you. God, Thank honestly, you for like... me. I wish I'd it's never worse. ever told anyone about that question mark button at the bottom. Why? Is it, is it, is it going ham? Have, have, we, got some, have we got some any, questions? Any questions I'm, I might have had. <laughs> God. <laughs> feel, free, feel free to like get right yeah, into them if you yeah, like. No, that's cool. I'm, I'm happy just to waffle, so it's fine. Um, so Great. Uh, Hi everyone, joining by the way. I can see everyone joining. Hello. There's like seven. Good. By, by the way, <laughs> I, I'm appreciating that some of these questions are including me as well. That's that's quite nice of you. I'm, I'm very humble. It is your that. stream. No, it is. You still, are. You're, you're the guest. Like you know, it's about talking to you about your hobby and and, and you know. Is it? Well, yeah. yeah. I was just gonna. I was just gonna ask you questions. <laughs> I was. <laughs> I already started. I was like, so tell me about what I, 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 I appreciate I it. I appreciate it. on the spot. Um, I'm so used to being the host. I'm s i am I'm not used to being the so, interviewee. I'm yeah. still very much in like host mode. <laughs> two two hosts then. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're just asking each so, other questions and being like, uh, I That's really, really am interesting. Sorry. Tell me more. <laughs> I'm sorry if I butcher anyone's names here because I'm like awful. Like so um Stokar four says, What are you, what are your guys' favourite model uh, that you've ever painted? Oh, do you want to go first, or shall I go first to give you more time to think yeah, about please. it? Because you, I reckon you, you painted. Yeah. Yes, I'll go first because <laughs> um, I've probably painted less miniatures than you because I know you paint a lot. So yeah, most, I think so. Most, I paint most, very slowly. Most of mine are working in progress. That's the problem. Well, you can still be a 
favorite miniature. It and doesn't mean you've painted the whole thing. Okay. Um, yeah. So one of my favorite miniatures I've ever painted is the, oh god, what's it called? The Fungoid Cave Shaman. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, it was just such a delight to paint. Yeah. <clears throat> I painted him, though, when I was signed off work because I was so ill. And, and I painted the whole thing in, like, a comatose fever state mm -hmm. <laughs> and um i just remember it being really good fun i don't know like if it actually was because i was really ill and probably like on a lot of like prescription drugs right. but i had a really good time doing it yeah and um, i liked i liked the proportions i liked the amount of detail i liked the size i liked the big mushroom it was just a super enjoyable miniature to paint yeah. and it's probably one of my favorites that i've done to this day what about you was that enough time that was amazing, yes. I've, I've, I've had okay. a look around my hobby area. I saw, I uh, saw, yeah. I'll be honest, uh, is it, can I pick two? Is that, yes, is that, I'm yeah. saying yes. Okay, because yes. I, think, I think one of them was down to the fact that it was mainly my creation. That's my Alaria model. <gasps> oh, 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 I was going to say my creation too, but I didn't want to come across as egotistical. So yay, okay, good. Screw okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, keep going, keep going, keep going. Yeah, so I've got my um, my Alario conversion because mm -hmm. my sil my Sylvaneth a Nurgle corrupted. Oh, cool! So the, the, Have you got the, it with you? Can you show uh, us? Or is it on uh, your? I won't. I won't ask you to. I won't it's ask you to. Come it's on, in my just case. It's in my case. Fair, I'll fair. Try and hunt it out, but yeah, don't get all, it. Don't get it. All the um, Nurgle exalted greater demon. Yeah. Yeah, um, I think I've seen that on your Instagram. Yes, it's my, or have it's I? my one. I, yeah, it's my main picture. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 There you go. Yeah, I thought so. There he goes. He's getting yeah. it. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 Love that. 10 out yeah. 10. That dude. That <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Up to good. good. Yeah. Good you picture. go. 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 Are we going but again? You said, do you add? Okay. You add your own creation. Yeah. But it's behind me. It's behind me. I got him. Um, it's it's a miniature that I designed, and this is going to be an upcoming video, and I've already spoiled it for loads of people, but it's a little goblin. It had to be a goblin. And you can't see it? him. <laughs> it it obviously did, but um, you can kind of, he's huge. That's insane, yeah. Start. And it's based on an illustration I did, and my friend sculpted it, and then I painted it, and he's got a little butt and a fish. Um, and it was honestly really good fun to paint and i don't know if it's just because i drew something that i would like to paint so it kind of makes sense but um he's going to be in an upcoming video soon and maybe a tutorial and you can download him on my patreon so you can all have your little goblins too and he was genuinely so good fun to paint i don't know if it's because like you can probably see he's a larger scale yeah. he's quite big yeah so, like, all the details were really easy to paint and exaggerate at that scale, and they're all really readable from far away. Right. And, I don't know, it was just really good fun. But yeah. yeah, feels like self-promotion, but I guess I just well, drew something it. I would go like to it. paint. Go for I'm it. not good at it. No. The, uh, <laughs> I've, I've, I've also realised that the questions have a timer on yeah. them, so when people... Oh, I, no! Yeah. I, I thought I thought oh, no. I thought it was you type a question it stays there and I can sort of like pick out the okay. list. But no, so, so sorry. We're, we're, you... we're gonna say if we miss your question, ask it's it. It's gone. Yeah, it's it's lost. Yes. Um, okay, oh, we're so sorry. so okay, um <laughs> our very own Lewis King has asked, um, how do you guys approach new projects and how do you choose your colour scheme? Interesting. Do you wanna go first? I've got no real advice. <laughs> okay, um, it, it depends. So, it, I am very much a kind of like, I paint with my heart. I don't, I don't really paint armies. Um, occasionally I'll paint a squad if it's like a kill team or an underworld thing, but only if I, I want to paint it. If you know what I mean, because some people, some people are building armies and they're like, you know what, I don't really want to paint 30 Primara Space Marines, but I got to do it because then my army will look great. Mm. I don't really do that. I paint for the joy of painting. So the way I choose my projects is whatever kind of takes my fancy. These days, 
because my hobby has kind of turned into my job, there's also an element of what I think would be interesting for a video. So recently I painted a fiery from the labyrinth, partially because Labyrinth is my favorite movie, and partially because I think it would just make a really cool tutorial. Yep. There's a lot of like fur and skin tones, and everybody else loves Labyrinth, loves <laughs> Labyrinth too. That was hard to say. <laughs> um, so there's there's a little bit of that, and as far as planning, it really depends on the miniature. A lot of the time, I will Photoshop my miniature before I paint it. So I'll get the miniature, I'll spray it, and then I will photoshop colors onto it just to make sure they work together mm. if it's like a particularly elaborate project if it's just a goblet or something like that i don't really plan it very heavily but if it's something a bit more centerpiece yeah. i like to photoshop them first and it'll be really rough but it's just to make sure that if i use purple here white makes sense there yeah. and then stuff like that i think i overthink it <laughs> a lot but it, 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 keep, it keeps me sane. And if, if you can, if you do have the ability to Photoshop miniatures, I recommend doing the same. I used to do it a lot in Masterclass because um, if you get a painted model, they're easier to Photoshop. So Games Workshop always releases pictures of painted miniatures. So then all you need to do is just add the color on top of it and then select the layer type and do color and it'll change the color. And that way you can just kind of work on how the colors work best with each other. And that's what I like to do. Ah, Did that answer the question? Lovely. Yeah, lovely. Uh, yeah. Good. Yes, that's good, nice. good, good. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Okay, good. Um, good someone's good. asked to see Burger. Oh. Do you not know Burger? Yeah, I know. It's I, Burger. I, I, I know Burger. You know Burger. Here he is. Here's an extreme close up of Burger. Because I can't yeah. do that on Twitch. Here's close, as close to burger as you can physically oh, yeah. get. Yeah. What How a does treat. that make you feel? A there treat. It is. What a treat! <laughs> Little burger doing the burger dance. People love uh, burger. I swear to God, it's like the only reason people like log into my Twitch is to see me do the little burger dance. He is quite right. like. I'm. I he's am. Good at dancing. I am the proud owner of of burger emojis now because of the. <gasps> rest, so. Yay! Look at him! Yeah, I actually I, I, love I spam them into, I spam them into other streams as well now, and people just Good. get confused. <laughs> <laughs> I love the way he dances. He's so he's so distracting, and um, that's Burger. There you go, Burger, everyone. Go. So <laughs> how, how long? Until, how long until? Uh, how long until Burger gets its own um, Instagram? Um, no, because Rob, Rob the Honest Wargamer made one for his puppet, oh. and then, remember that, remember yes. that, and then, and then the alt-right said he had a sock puppet account, right. Right. Oh. when they were trying to cancel him for something, this is like one of my favourite stories about Rob, and um, it was his literal sock puppet account. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, okay, fair enough, fair enough. So, I don't know, also I don't want Burger to like take the limelight away from me, because he totally would. He's quite big-headed. <laughs> He's... <laughs> he just yeah. loves his little hands! I gotta so, put yeah. the burger away. <laughs> so people, obviously, um, should know. I'm just gonna touch on it very quickly for anyone that, that's been under a rock or anything, but obviously you um, spent a lot of time working for Games Workshop. Yes. Yes, indeed. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And, and whatnot. And Quite a lot of time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, seven, was, seven to eight was, years. Was that about that year, was it? Okay. Yeah. Um, where, where, where did you first? What sort of department did you go into first? Like, how, how did your journey through? Yeah. Through okay. A brief, a brief history of my time at Games Workshop. Is that? Is that? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Cool. So, I started as a book layout person. Right. Um, I that that was the job I applied for was book layout in Forge World. Forge World is now the specialist design studio. It was then Forge World. So when I talk about SDS, it's it's Forge World. It's it's the same thing. Um, I started as a book layout person. That was a job I applied for. I didn't really know a lot about book layout. Um, I applied with just a portfolio full of goblin pictures. I'd done a few books before in uni. I was like fresh out of uni. I worked in a toy shop for a year, but I was fresh out of uni. And I went in to do that. But the job I ended up doing was way more vast and generic. I um, 
did some layout for Blood Bowl. I started doing construction booklets, was a huge part of what I did. But mostly it was packaging design. So if you like um, Blood Bowl, Titanicus, Necromunda, Lord of the Rings, all the Middle Earth stuff. I think I see some stuff in the background. I don't think that's stuff I designed, but it's cool to see anyway. Um, Maybe. (laughs) I can't tell. (laughs) But um, I I mostly did the packaging design um, for, I think, about three years. So that would be, and the photography as well. So I did photography for all the books as well. So I did quite a few jobs. And then I moved into being an illustrator for Forge World, which was really good fun. So I did a lot of uh, Blood Bowl again, and mostly Titanicus. I, I did hundreds and hundreds of pictures of titans like too many to count um i did some maps as well i started off the um old world map Mm -hmm. i did the map of the ash wastes and i I did loads of stuff i I was really proud of uh, whilst i was there and then i did that for a couple of years which was great i absolutely loved it and then i decided it would be fun to do what i love most which is talk to people about painting Mm -hmm. And the presenter job came up for Warhammer TV. We didn't know it was like Warhammer Plus at that point because Warhammer Plus wasn't a thing. They just kind of said they needed a, they wanted like a specialist painter for their TV channel. And I was like, "Uh, I could maybe do that. I like to talk and I like to paint. So (laughs) I applied for that job. And it turned out what they were planning was a little thing called Warhammer Plus. And I would have my own show called Masterclass, and it would be really good fun. And my first job there was designing the sets for um, Warhammer Plus. Mm. So I'm also an interior designer for Games Workshop, (laughs) (laughs) which was unexpected. Um, But yeah, and then I decided that I wanted to go off and do my own thing. And then I did, and now I'm here. (laughs) There you go. So uh, there you go. A brief, really, a brief yeah. history. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I did loads that's, whilst I was there. Yeah. It was a very packed yeah. seven years. <laughs> yeah. I remember, um, I think, uh, I remember seeing you at an open day once where you mm-hmm. were doing some illustration stuff. We've met a few times at open days. Yeah. I'm fairly sure. Um, you did some things with the Warcrow when that was released, I think. I think uh, it was probably Necromunda, which looked like Warcry because there was lots of stuff. Maybe, yeah. And Maybe, uh, I remember uh, you had your Vink stuff out once. Yes, script, yes, script, yeah. I used to just sit that. there with my miniatures. I miss yeah. those yeah. days. Because they, been able they to couldn't meet really. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Like a hundred percent. I did a video recently. I say recently. Everything's recently. I only left like two months ago. Um, I did a video where I went to Warhammer Fest mm-hmm. and. It was the first time I'd been to Warhammer Fest as a customer, and I was stoked. Like, one of the big things I was hyped for when I left Games Workshop was, like, the feeling of being a customer again. I love it. I am. Um, it hasn't worn off for me yet. Like, buying new paints, experimenting with new miniatures, it, it's just, it's so nice to be back with everyone yeah. else getting excited for Warhammer. Like, I love it. I love seeing what new releases are coming up. Like, there's a reveal show this weekend and it's going to be the first reveal show where i don't know anything that's coming out oh, that's and cool. i'm that's so amazing. excited i'm so, exactly and i am so excited for it yeah. it's going to be it's going to be really good fun to be like on the hype train with everyone else but um yeah i do not like the new format of not being able to see people because it just I, and i i don't i don't it's a difficult one for me to talk about because i feel like i am very biased about it because i've not been in the customer seat for a very long time so Mm. it's really easy for me to be like i don't like this this feels wrong when i was in the other side seeing all the staff members be like i don't like this this feels wrong but i don't know if customers are like actually no this is fine we love it i don't know what everyone's complaining about so it's interesting to hear like what your point of view is because as as a staff member they all miss the customer interactions too. Yeah. And that's yeah. that's sad, yeah. I think. I think uh, that's a little sad. It's something I've always like touched on on the channel. We did like um, yeah. a talk about Warhammer Fest and stuff and, and oh, other events. Okay. Yeah, other, other events that we've like been to and things like that. And it's just like, they just don't feel the same. And 
obviously no. without knowing reasonings and things like that. But it, like everything we've I've ever done um, has been down mm -hmm. to like community. Is that that community yes. base? Yes, you're uh, you're a big community I, guy. I try. Yeah. I try. <laughs> I try. It's good. But, it's good of but, you. No. But um, you know, it's very difficult um, mm. when you have these events like that because. I feel like these events should be about celebrating the community, about celebrating the hobby and the people behind it. That's that's like, the thing like, that they're missing. That's that's the bit that they are yeah, absolutely missing. Yeah. Um, because because yeah. we're we're part of the community. Everyone exactly. that works at Games Workshop loves Warhammer. Exactly. Like, exactly. And that they sh they should they should channel that because that's raw, untapped energy which is so like putting on my dickhead hat if i can swear for but a second and um, that's so marketable yeah. right like that energy from people that genuinely love warhammer so like phil kelly right i would pay so and is this a weird thing to say i would pay so much money just to hear that man speak for an hour mm -hmm. right just about things that he is genuinely yeah. passionate about and if i i in my video i compared a map or a schedule it was a schedule i compared a schedule from warhammer fest 2017 mm -hmm. to the schedule for 2023 right. was it this year it was and there was it, it just felt really empty yeah in a yeah. way because yeah. Yeah. at 2017 it was like being at a festival with a great lineup you were like oh well i can go see how to airbrush my minis but then oh i'll miss i'll miss that um q a about age of sigmar or you know and yeah. it, it 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 felt a bit sparse yeah. but um like you said the community feeling at warhammer fest was incredible but i wish that extended to the people behind the product exactly 100%. yeah and and I, I always have to, like stress as well. Like, I know that I, I do like. It sounds like I'm really over over critical of like the company no, and everything like that. No, and, and no, things, no, no, no. We but, love but, Things Workshop. We love the but, product. But it's what I always try, I always try and there. say is I'm not doing it just to be negative about it. It's because no. I do love it so much that when yes, when, when, I, when I feel valid. like something they've done sucks, it hurts. Like it's like it's yes. like just 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 do it. Do it right. Be do what we want. Like yes. you know. It's, no, gonna, that's that's yeah. definitely something worth talking about. Is that um, Games Workshop fans are very protective of Games Workshop because we love it so much, right? We mm. we love Games Workshop and well, we we love the product and we love the IP, right? But Games Workshop is a company run by people. Yeah, and that's all. That's all. And um, when when people criticize. Games Workshop, they're not being anti-Games Workshop. They're not. They're not. Because what they're saying is, we love this thing and we wish it was better. Mm. And when, when people, and I think it's really important when people say, Games Workshop did this, Games Workshop did that, I think it's important to separate the creatives from the people who are the decision makers. Because 98% of people at Games Workshop are just nerds who want to contribute to Warhammer in the same way we do, right? There's 2% of people at Games Workshop who are managers, who maybe make terrible marketing decisions, or don't think it's better to stay quiet instead of talking about things. Those are the people we're criticizing, yeah. not the wonderful creatives who make yeah. the thing that yeah. we love. And yeah. it, it's sometimes hard, I think, for some diehard fans to understand that that kind of disconnect where yeah. it's okay as paying customers to say we would like better for this thing that we love and us saying like being what's what's the word entitled that's the word entitled so it's like yeah. oh yeah, yeah. you're just complaining about a luxury product why are you complaining about war dollies because we love it yeah. we love it so yeah. much and we're not complaining yeah. we just want it to be perfect for everyone and it's never going to yeah. be perfect but we'd like it to be good for yeah. everyone right that's my think, that's my take yeah i mean I, th I think as well like um it's easier for people to focus on the negatives of things mm -hmm. so like things that i've said yes. people will remember that but where yes. I, I i very much believe in as well like i yes. do shout about their successes so i think leviathan was a massive success for them like they nailed it so they nailed it. Not, everyone was nervous yeah. And like, they smashed it. I, I was like, I felt like I was the only one in the room, like going, "Well done, Games Workshop." No, no, like, 
No, 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 no. They they did really good. Um, like I said, everyone was like, I, I don't want to say what's the word. They were a bit traumatized by past events. Yeah, yeah, where yeah. Where things sold out so quickly, and that was worth talking about. And maybe it's the fact that everyone did talk about it that made them make it good. Yeah. And it was good. Nobody, everybody, I, I'm fairly sure, apart from like a few instances of local game shops maybe not getting as many as they wanted, yeah. I'm fairly sure most people who wanted Leviathan had the money for Leviathan and bought Leviathan got it. Yeah. And that's a, that's a great achievement. Exactly. Um, but as you say, the, the negatives is always, it's, it's like on YouTube, right? If you, if you make a video, if you make 10 videos saying how good something is, and then one being like, they messed up, which one's going to get the most views? It's, yeah. it's, the, it's the same case the world over. So it's yeah. easy to, in, in this kind of atmosphere we're in, to, to focus on the negative. But they do good. They make a yeah. great product. And most of the people that work there are just happily plodding along, mm -hmm. making the thing that yeah. we love. And that's great. Yeah, definitely. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, oh my god, this chat, honestly. Sorry, I'm I know, I know. No. I, I went on for a bit No, no, there. it's I'm absolutely sorry. fine. I'm, it's just that I, I do neglect this chat. It's, just, it's mental, so We're I'm so sorry, sorry everyone. Chat. Um, We're but sorry, chat. No, you Hi, are everyone. appreciated. Thank you for joining. Thank you for joining, everybody. <laughs> um, we, I can see you're there. I can see you're there. That's the matter. We that's see you. We, we see love you. you. I'm actually waiting for there's normally one person that normally comes on, um, Dante Paints, and he usually, oh, yeah? says, he usually says something along the lines of what's behind me, because he, he always does it. What if, 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 what, like in a spooky way? <laughs> no, no, it's because okay. every time I do Because if someone live, said that to me, I'd be spooky. <laughs> every, uh, every time I did a live, I'd always get someone that I didn't know that joined, mm -hmm. and then we're like, what's mm -hmm. all that behind you? So you, know, you can see it. But I'll have to go. Oh, I get that oh. a lot. Okay, right. <laughs> I'll show you. So every stream was like me getting up and having to show people what it was. So now he's like trolling me, like uh -huh, uh -huh. to the point. I'm so I'm, I'm consciously like, looking out for it because like you're, you're just you're just ready for him. You. <laughs> uh, uh, no. Oh, he's having issues <laughs> I get with that Instagram. There we go. Ash said he's having issues with his Instagram. Oh no! Is it me? Um, I think my Wi-Fi is a bit choppy. So yeah. I'm sorry if I cut in and out of the warp. I'm very yeah. sorry. <laughs> yeah, you're okay. Um, Thank you. But I'm, I'm, uh, oh, I see. What? I, I see a wraith. <laughs> what? No, a wraith no, behind you? There's a power fist. Ah. There's a power fist. Oh my god. Where did that come from? How do you hide an entire power fist behind you? I want to fist bump you. Fist bump me. Boop. There we go. <laughs> the, the crazy thing fun. is, it actually fits a paint your hand, Oh, <gasps> That's so cool. I don't there believe you and I'm nervous, but oh my god. That's that's quite that's quite cool. Hell yeah. You should you should get a little <laughs> like light fixture on it as well. Like make an entire go go gadget painting power fist. I love it. <laughs> I plotted that there. So when you ask, like you, ha ha! <laughs> <laughs> I don't have anything cool. I have trolls in a pantry and an epic gargant. Cool. Hey, you have cool, cool stuff. I do have cool stuff. I'm, yeah, a, I'm just... a connoisseur. I'm like a mini Warhammer museum. Yeah. <laughs> I just, I, just, I just have junk. Oh, my junk's under my what? desk. That sounds oh, weird. Okay. <laughs> but like, what? <laughs> I just put mine this on the stream. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> and a mushroom, yes. <laughs> There's a mushroom. Um, oh dear. Oh, I'm so sorry, chat. We're sorry. So We're sorry. bad parents. <laughs> Louise, all it means is you have to do like more of these so that <laughs> I did, I will be I would be more than willing to come back. Now that I've like now that I've gotten used to Twitch streaming, it's actually quite nice to go back to talking to someone who isn't yeah. just me or a quiet screen. Yeah. I, I miss streaming with Peachy, so honestly, yeah. it's, it's quite yeah. nice. It's yeah. quite yeah. nice. <laughs> yeah, we're not sorry. Um... Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, um, so what I will do, actually, I'll just take this moment just to... Mm -hmm. Um, mention a little something, a little announcement here. Um, so I'm not going to oh. mention any other names. I'm not going to mention any other names. It's just purely this one announcement. For those of you that don't know, I am a host this year on a little charity live stream called 2K for 2K. 
I'm also going! Yay! Yeah! We can announce Yeah, 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 so you can mention me! Yeah. Oh, we're both gonna be there! Okay, this is great! I was gonna mention it too, so I'm glad you did it first yeah. and probably more professionally. No. Go go off, King. Pop yes. off, King. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, um, it's, I think it's the third year of running it. I've been asked mm -hmm. to host, so I'm joining Miniature Frontier and Kalex. Um, so it's on Miniature Frontier on Twitch. We're raising money for the mental health charity Mind. And the idea is, it's called 2K for 2K, so we are going to be painting 2K of any game system in 24 I'm not hours. you are. Okay. <laughs> um, yes, but, yeah, that, that's, the, that's the general idea. Um, there's going to be prizes to give away, which you can win by either being in the chat at the right time, or through donating through the uh, Just Giving page. But um, yeah, if, if you follow myself... K legs, Minute Frontier, all the updates will be going up on there. Um, it's the 25th of August, I think. 6 p.m. I think starts, it is. Yeah, I'm bad through. at numbers, but I think yeah, it is the 25th. Yeah, yeah. So the schedule hasn't been released yet, so just keep an eye out for that. It'll show, we'll release all the guests that are going to be on and what times they're on. The sponsors have already been announced, I think. So. Ooh. So yeah. I yeah. didn't know there were sponsors. Yeah. Fancy. Yeah, I've, I've never done it before because obviously I think they asked me when I was at Games Workshop and yeah. I passed it on to my managers and then it didn't go anywhere. Can you tell me a little about like what do we what do we do? What am I doing? What <laughs> what do we right. do on the stream? Okay, so basically what's gonna happen is um we're mm -hmm. just gonna be doing our hobby challenges and there's gonna be other little mini challenges throughout. Um, yeah. and basically we've got guests coming on. <clears throat> periodically through the whole thing um yeah. mainly just to either chat about them or their business or their channels and it's sort of a bit like this while we're fun just yeah crashing basically um yeah. but yeah ult ultimately that's it and obviously we encourage anyone that wants to join in at home to join in 2k yeah. of anything paint it and stay in the chat with us for the whole thing do is it 24 it hours? Yeah. Is it a 24 hour stream? Yeah, 6 p.m. on the Friday oh until 6 p.m. on the Saturday. No. Yeah. Who's got the night shift? Because I think I think I'm on. Yeah. I don't know what, um, like you said, I don't know what the schedule uh, is, but I think I'm on um, at a reasonable like I said, time. I'll, I'll, I'll message you privately, and I'll tell you. I can tell you because you're a guest. So, do. but I won't please don't it. put I'll... me on at three o'clock in the morning, or else it'll just be like. No, is you know you know your your time. I don't remember numbers though, and I'm scared. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're scaring me now. It's like we're gonna be saying, like, "Where is?" I'm not me? trying to gaslight you. I'm sorry. I'm just bad at numbers. <laughs> it's fine. Okay, I'll send you a reminder. I'm really looking forward to it. I'll send you a reminder really every different. day up to the stream. <laughs> Please, please, right, like, I'll still it, mess it up. It, please, just, thank you. Yeah, my reminder will just say, "So many sleeps." Like, I'll, I'll, oh, like a little Christmas I'll calendar. Send you it in sleep. This is how many oh sleeps there is. No, can I get like a little chocolate Christmas calendar? And yeah. then that's the only. I'm like, I'm literally like a child. That's the only way I'll remember something is if I have a little chocolate yeah. Christmas calendar yeah. and I can just open the little windows and it's like, ooh, three yeah. days to the stream. Yeah. <laughs> But no, it's going to be amazing. That. And so I can announce that Louise is going to be a guest on there as well. That's all I'm saying. That is all I'm saying. Um, <laughs> I, I, I mean, I'll quickly mention a couple of the sponsors uh, off the top of my head. Yeah, you have to go have, have a look at um, our Instagram. But Tabletop Tactics, uh, a sponsor in. Love Mr. Duncan Rhodes. Oh, <gasps> Dunks? Get him on the stream. Dunks stop sponsoring. stop letting him be a freeloader. Stop letting that man get away with sponsoring. Get him on the street. Look, okay, we, Make him suffer we actually, like we, he used to. We, we told him that we didn't want him to sponsor, but he was just insistent. So, oh, that's, um... well, that, that's very nice of him. <laughs> I suppose we'll let him off then. But just no. Um, yeah, Exit 23. Um, <gasps> oh, my God. Uh, Vanguard Load. Tactics. Um, oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, it's there. It's there on my Instagram anyway. All, like, uh, all the big, all, all the big wigs. I don't know. I just think I would watch Duncan suffering with contrast paints again yeah. for eight hours. <laughs> I would pay good money for that. Yeah. yeah. So all those all those guys are sponsoring and more um, for a, a given price support as well. Um, That's nice. Oh, and not forgetting the army painter as well. Army painter. Yeah. Yay! Yeah. So, Love uh, those guys. So Lovely yeah. people. 
So yeah, got got a yeah. load of wicked prizes and stuff like that. But that's enough about that. Just make sure that you follow myself, K Legs, Miniature Frontier, and that'll have all of the information on the leader. So exciting! Twenty fifth August. So still some time to get your Christmas exactly. calendar so, ready. Not, and I've, I've, <laughs> I've, I've, I've plugged myself now, so that's that bit done. Um, Congratulations! It's a good plug though. It's a charity plug. My plug's <laughs> just like, look at my goblins. Aren't they cute? But oh, yes, go. Not as good as make, make, sure, make, make sure if you don't already, go and follow Louise and make sure that you go over to YouTube and Twitch. Uh, follow, subscribe, and all that jazz. Uh, if you like, subscribe to me on YouTube or, or, or Twitch and you don't to Louise yet, what, what's wrong with you? Um, I, I didn't know I didn't follow you on Instagram <laughs> until two minutes ago when I clicked to see if you were live and it said follow back. Do you know what? That, so I'm that, a bad friend. That, 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 that's hurt me for quite a while. It. Yeah. Oh no! No, no! I'm terrible. I am. I am the worst human. I am like. I. I don't. I. There's so many people who. I'm trying to stop my hair from blowing away. There's so many people who I've like quietly stalked. Yeah. I guess is it's the fine. word if I don't follow them. Who appear on like my Twitter and Instagram feed. Mm. So uh, for for so long that I just assume I follow them. Yeah. And I think you're the one, one of the ones that there fell through go. the cracks, even though there you go. it's been years. I'm it's very fine. sorry. Fine. I know. It's Look, fine. now now the chat is is judging me, and I'll let them. I'll uh, I'll find fair enough. you. Fair enough. Fair <laughs> enough. You can you can block me right <laughs> after the stream, <laughs> and I'll completely understand. I I, I, Why don't, I you, don't. Oh, huh? Power move. Unfollow me, and then you'll be like, sorry, I'm, Louise. No, you? honestly, I, that's not me, and I I I'd never hold that against anybody. Do it. No. I'd hold it against me. Yeah, well, <laughs> I'd be bitter for years. <laughs> I'm petty. Okay. So, uh, um, yes. So, I uh, sorry. I'm I'm going to be selfish now and ask one of my questions. So screw everyone else. No, I joke. I joke. Um, <laughs> screw you guys. <laughs> no, well no, 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 no. I love you all, really. And the viewer um, count just drops. No. <laughs> no. They, they know I'm joking. They know I'm joking. Um, love you. Yeah. Um, Yes, it's just something that I actually I don't know. I don't know about you. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. It may, it may be an obvious thing. I don't know. Maybe it's just me being an idiot. But do you oh, actually no. play any of these games like AOS? Yes. Or, yeah, you do. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I um I get this is a very common question actually that I get asked. Um, people. The most common question I get asked is like, do you actually have an army? Yeah. Right. Um, which I guess is like the same question. I do. I have a very large orc army. I have like a 3k plus snake, fully converted snake bite orc army. Mm. I have about five underworld warbands. I have a small zinch faction. I have some scions. I have like quite mm. a few playable armies. I, I did a few battle reports on um, yep. Warhammer Plus. Yeah, you know you what? Now, now you say it, I like remember the orc one. But, like, yeah, yeah, orc one was actually the first everything yeah. we filmed for Warhammer yeah. Plus. It wasn't masterclass. The first thing I filmed was a battle report with Patrick, who I miss very much. I love Patrick. Um, but yeah, I I occasionally play games. I used to play tons in seventh edition. Mm -hmm. I think it was 7th edition. 7th edition w was when I was um, up in Aberdeen and I was in uni and I was quite young and I had loads of spare yeah. time. And yeah. that's when I played the most games. I've played like a ga two, three games of 9th edition and I've not played any 10th edition yet. But there is an event um, where I work in the TSN Arena this weekend, which is a 40k event. So I'm hoping to kind of spy on some tables and see how that works. But yeah, I I, yeah. I am known to occasionally play a game. That's cool. I've never had a game of Age of Sigmar though. Never had a game of Age of Sigmar. What? Yep. No. Yep. Oh. And it's it's the worst. <laughs> it's unforgivable. But never once have I played Age of Sigmar. So no, I don't no. play Age of Sigmar. Um, I should though because I hear it's really good fun. Yeah, I, well, it's, it's, it's my it's my it's my favorite game system. Yeah, it's Rob favorite too obviously <laughs> but um my know. issue uh, <laughs> did you know <laughs> um my issue is that i have dyscalculia which is dyslexia for numbers oh, really? so you can imagine how horrible it is for me to mm. learn mm. a game like yeah. age of sigmar or even 40k i'm lucky that i learned 40k quite young 
because I think it like the basic way it works kind of ingrained in my brain quite young. Mm -hmm. But the thought of me picking up a new game terrifies me now because mm. I I just can't. And I'm glad they've like what they they said they haven't simplified 40k. They said I can't remember what the thing is, but apparently 40k is a bit easier now, which is fantastic for people like me. But I need to I need yeah. to like learn Age of Sigmar because it seems really good fun, but yeah. it's, it's just a little bit scary for me That's, because I'll I'm an that. adult now and I don't want to be wrong. I don't want to be stupid. I'm like 30. Yeah. I don't want to learn things. I don't. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, no, it's, it's hard. Yeah, yeah, I get that. Yeah, yeah. Um, but so if it's something you want to do, then yeah, go for it. I it say. Um, and to be honest, if you're doing 40k now, there, there's so many similarities that you can kind of um, yeah, yeah latch onto. And I'm sure I'd get that's, some that's, great interest. That's, that's what I'm doing because I was like AOS. I haven't played 40k properly for so so long, and I'm getting back into it in this edition because yeah. the rules the rules sort of um, spoke to me and. I've had a couple of games now, and uh, yeah. yeah, I'm literally using the same tactics I use in AOS and 40k, and it's like it's working. Well, so I'm like, yeah. So. I just, I just need to be brave. I just need to be brave yeah. and have an intro game of Age of Sigmar, and then maybe I'll love it. Yeah, I think I would. I think, but I think, yeah, I have enough zinch yeah. that I could yeah. have a zinch army, which is great. Yeah, I think you know, just make sure that you have enough time available to be able to like properly, like you know, take your time. And I'm unemployed right now, opponent. honey. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> That's my job. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fun employed. No, technically, technically, Rogue Hobbies is a business now. <laughs> so t technically, I was unemployed for like two months. Yeah, you can't. <laughs> and now play I'm in business card. again. Which you can't. Play that. You're meant to yeah, be making yeah. content, yeah. <laughs> exactly. I'm a content exactly. creator. I'm an influencer. Seems to be getting on without <laughs> not, not learning these games. Well, it, if I film it, technically it's content. That's the thing. It's like you'll be eating dinner and you'll be like, oh, "I wonder if this can be content." It's horrible. It's a curse. I yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I have a massive respect for anyone that does it like all the time because it's fun. I'm... It is fun, but I have never worked so hard and so long in my yeah. entire life. Yeah, like I worked night shifts at Christmas in a toy shop, and it's nothing mm -hmm. compared to the hours I work. Yeah. trying to do these videos but the difference is i really like yeah. it like it's fun so i want to do an extra four hours at like when it's five o'clock at night mm. i'm like i'll just get dinner here yeah. and i'll just work another five hours because i love it yeah but it's I've, tiring I've, I've done a few i've done a few painting tutorials and it's like so <laughs> draining and it i is. i'm like how do people do this like it's okay. hard it is hard it's it's not easy but it is fun. Yeah. M most of it's fun. Yeah, <laughs> Sometimes I... editing can be a bit tedious because I don't have an editor yet. So everything, <laughs> everything is me right now. And that is, that's a lot. If there's any editors who want to reach out, let me what? know because I'd love an editor. <laughs> What's editing? I don't know. <laughs> just throw, just, I just throw it out there. I, I love editing though. The yeah. thing is like, I actually enjoy editing. It's just so time consuming. And every for so like it takes just as long to paint a miniature as it does to edit a video. So I could be producing twice as many videos, but I have to edit them mm. myself. And I enjoy it. I like I like the creative side of editing um, on my YouTube videos. But it's just like clipping out all the footage of my hands when I'm painting all the time that I'm not painting for five hours is a lot. Yeah, it's a lot when I could be making memes professionally yeah <laughs> <laughs> i uh um, but i i'm i'm honestly yeah. loving it i love it very much no honestly like i, I mm -hmm. said i said from the get-go like <laughs> you're absolutely smashing it honestly like thank you it's great i and, hope uh, so um yeah very um, kind of you thank you, you. yeah I, I, you know i'll tell you what the first the first thing i did when you started on on, on twitch i i um Unsub from the Honest War Gamer and went and subbed straight to you. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> Screw that guy. Yeah, yeah. There's only room for one content so, creator in this hype so, house, and it's me. So sorry, Rob. <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> no, we love him. I'll tell him you say hi. Yeah. You should come to an event someday. I Have you ever been tempted? I keep, I keep meaning to. I mean, Rob. Honestly, Rob's been such a nice guy. Like he helped me with with my events. Like. 
talks about you sometimes. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh Nicely, God. in a good way, in a good way, in a good way. Don't worry. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, you should come to an event. I will. Totally come to an event the, sometime. It'll be lovely moment, to have you here. It's, um, the moment, the, what's stopping me at the moment is um, like a lot of stuff, like home, basically. And, Kids, and family. Just, and I'll tell you time. what, as well, it, it's so annoying, but it's um, mm. anxiety. Oh, honey, I feel you. Um, I like Rob's events because I like events. I just stay in my room and paint yeah. and ambiently yeah. enjoy whatever is going on through there, mm. right? I feel you 100%. Yeah. Um, it's, I, it's like cri crippling. I, like, and it's not even the actual event. It's just staying away, like on a two-day event, like yes. staying yes. away from home on my own. It's sort of like... Yeah. Yeah, and completely I completely yeah. understandable. Um, and no, nope, you, you do, you do, you. But the the point is, we would love to have you here, and you're always I'm, welcome. I'm and also, yes. if you oh. do come and it gets overwhelming, I have a little place where you can take a nap under my desk because <laughs> I also get extremely anxious. So I have a space under my <laughs> desk where you can have a nap. Desk. Quality. Yeah, I have pillows yeah. and blankets and hot water bottles, and it's very comfy. We're gonna get me a small rollout air yeah. bed because I also get very anxious and tired. Because, okay, well, no one talks about this with anxiety, how exhausting it yeah. is, right? And I remember, if, if we can do a bit of therapy chat for a minute. Of course, I yeah, remember yeah. talking, yeah, I know, I know you're okay with that, so that's very kind of you to allow me to do that. So, like, I remember I used to suffer mm -hmm. the worst panic attacks, and I didn't even know they were panic attacks, literally just thought I was dying. And I'm sure people can relate yeah. to that, right? And if you if you suffer from panic attacks and you don't want to listen, just s stop watching now and come back. Sorry for pe saying for people to stop watching, but some people get upset while talking about panic attacks. Yeah. So a trigger yeah. warning. Um, I used to suffer from the worst panic attacks ever, and I literally just thought I was going crazy and dying, right? Yeah. But then I went to the doctor, and they were like, "It's in your brain," and I was like, "How can it be in my brain? It's yeah. so physical. Like it's so insanely." Yeah physical yeah and then i yeah it is absolutely exhausting and nobody i feel nobody talks about this so i went to my therapist and he was like did you know that one panic attack is the equivalent of like draining exhaustion than running like a half marathon yeah. literally so like after you're done having a panic attack it's like it's like a yeah. hangover yeah. you just want to sleep I I have like slept half before like day. literally exhausting. like yeah yeah i have i've literally slept like just for, for so so long after having having some it's of them so and, uh, and yeah and nobody talks about that and it's totally like there needs to be allowances for the after effects of anxiety yeah. because it's it's all well and good to be like i've i learned how to not control but manage panic attacks and thank god touch wood i haven't had one in a solid six years like a proper one which yeah. is incredible but there needs to be some kind of aftercare yeah. for panic attacks in, in which somebody has one and you're at your desk and you're like whoo and then it's like go home go home because you are not going to be able to function because your body has just had the biggest yeah. adrenaline jump yeah it's ever had in its life and you need to just recollect yourself in sleep and i i think there needs to be more understanding not yeah. only of panic attacks but the aftermath effects of having 100%. anxiety and panic because it, it, it's exhausting and that's why it's it's really good for me to be self-employed because right. i i can now give myself the allowance to have a two-hour nap yeah. if i get upset yeah, or if something stressful happens i i get nervous every time i post a youtube video right i I don't hate it, I love it, but I'll have to be there with my emotional support burger. And then afterwards, I'm like, I'm going to bed. I'm exhausted. Just from, like, things going on in my brain. Yeah. Yeah, I've missed days of work from being overwhelmed. It's easy to have happened. I, I read a chat thing. I'm proud of me. Yay. Yay. But, I don't know. Tangent. Big yes. tangent. Yeah, but, no, um, I completely understand yeah. how you feel. It's, it's something I was gonna I was gonna touch on anyway, you know, after we spoke about mm -hmm, the whole two K for two K thing, you know, the fact Feel that Feel free to segue. I, no, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> no, I just mentioned that obviously I've mentioned about, you know, we're we're raising money for the mental health charity mind yeah. and, 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 and the main thing is because I think that that mental health things are actually quite common within this hobby, this sort of uh, yeah. group of people.
and it's probably in that group where it's the least spoken about like maybe because we're not very good at speaking to each other because we're socially anxious it kind of yeah. makes sense yeah yeah it kind of right? does it kind of <laughs> does but it's trying to break down those walls and i say that's why ultimately <clears throat> i got involved with this in hosting and the fact yes. that you know even before that on my channel we do like quarterly uh videos about mental health in the hobby so me and ash sit down and we talk yeah. about it and yeah reiterate stuff a lot of the time about like you know our inboxes I'm being sure. open all the time and 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 yeah you know it it's more i want to do a whole video about it and it's crazy, i'm sure right? nothing i say will be revolutionary but if one new person sees it that's enough yeah it doesn't have to be there does it it's it's just mm -hmm. it's it's just reiterating that point so so I think a lot of a lot a lot of the time is like and especially for me and I and I'm sure it's the same for a lot of people is like you know that people are there for you but you still don't want to be a yes. burden to them like god no and, yeah and, yeah I'm very and, lucky that I have quite a hands-on support mm. system or else yeah I I would be by myself doing all this yeah so I think you know mm -hmm. it's um it's it's just the the hobby like say the hobby community is like awesome so yeah. like and it's gotten way bigger yeah. and way more community-y. Yeah, exactly. like, no one's anonymously posting pictures on... Well, there's still a few people anonymously posting pictures, but a lot of the time there's a person behind the hobby account that you follow. Yeah. And a lot of the time you, you get to know that yeah. person through like their videos or whatever they're doing. And like that's quite different to how it was, I always say, 10 years ago. Because 10 years ago I was anonymously posting Warhammer pictures online and that was yeah. it. But now I feel a lot more like I can be the human behind the hobby, if that makes sense. Which is why the only hands thing I felt was quite sad, because I think it was quite important to to be a part of the community as a person as well. Yeah. Because it's 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 a great place to be. It's a great place to be. I am. I'm gonna do a little spoiler. If that's okay. We can stay for like some more time if you like. If you're looking at the time. No, I'm right not. Now. No, I'm looking. Um, I'm looking at the okay. questions. Oh, good. Oh, good. I'll, so sit like, tomorrow, I'll, sit, I'll, I'll sit here for like ever. So, you know, you'll. I, you'll I've, got, I've got another half an hour to 20 minutes. Yeah, we well, minutes to half an hour. You're the one okay. that'll have to stop me. Okay. Yeah. Okay, good. I'll let you know. I'll let you know. Um, so, I've got a video coming out tomorrow mm. in which I ask people to like anonymously send me their Warhammer confessions. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. And it was really interesting because there was loads of just like weirdos. There's a, loads of the feet people came out the bog. <laughs> So, like, they went in the bin, and then there was a lot of people confessing to, like, cheating at GTs and stuff, and I was like, oh, okay. There was a lot of people, like, confessing to stealing, and there was one which made its way into the video, which was really sad, and this person's like, I really want to get into playing games, but I know my friends will rip me, to, uh, like, to pieces if I try. Yeah. And I'm like, that was really hard for me to try and work out a solution, because... I was trying to talk to these people to be like, give them a bit of advice, and I'm not very good at advice. So I was kind of like, I didn't want to say dump your friends, right? But I yeah. kind of went, maybe you should talk to them, or maybe you should, like, how would you, what's your advice? I guess I'm turning this around. What would you do if someone was like, I want to, because I think they already paint Warhammer, but yeah. their thing was, they are scared of play, like learning games because, like me, they're quite intimidated yeah, by it yeah. and they don't want to be bad at it. And they said that if their friends found out, they would rip them apart. And that was a tricky one. So what would you do? Um, I'm going to turn this around to you because I struggled to come up, not with a solution, but I guess advice. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a tough one, really. Um, it is. Because... Sorry to be on spot. That's <laughs> fine. So are we talking like friends that obviously don't play and then that the... i don't know i don't know i think it might be friends who are in the like already in the scene but may so that makes it trickier so they're in the I... scene but if they started playing then it's tr trying to play games maybe because like me they feel insecure that they'd get it so wrong that their friends would be like laugh at them for I trying guess, i guess one thing i i don't it, it really doesn't there's depend, a lot of people but... just and no, get new friends. <laughs> no, I mean, in, in all fairness, though, I, I think that there may be other gaming clubs and things, if you look, and people you don't know. 
Um, That's what so, I said. So, okay, good, 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 yeah, good. Yeah, <laughs> so I, I think they haven't really think of, because I'm just thinking like where I am right now, like I've got my local people, but then like I can travel like 40 minutes and there's a, like, it's where our tournament's held, but it, it's far enough away that it's a different group yeah. of people and it's a you lovely hobby here. shop and like, yeah. I think if you went in there and you was like, look, I just want to like learn a bit of it, and uh, there's going to be people that will like do it, and, and, that, Good. and that's I, cool. I yeah. said, I said the exact same mm. thing. I was like, the hobby and the community is big enough now that you'll find people who are willing, even if you suck, who are willing to like play as many games as it takes to make you feel comfortable, mm. like. Not necessarily get new friends, but maybe talk to your friends about how they don't make you feel good and say, and then maybe they'll, they'll yeah. you know, let their guard down and then also talk to people online. Yeah. It's really weird that we're in an age now where, like, you know, 20 years ago, your parents were like, never talk to a stranger online. And now I'm like, <laughs> talk to some strangers <laughs> online. They're probably really yeah. nice. But um, yeah. yeah, the Warhammer community is in a really good place now. And I guess that's what I was um, getting to, where there's so many people now, and there and you'll find your own people. Like I related to that story. I would love to have a game with that person where we both just suck, and we both work it out together, right? And we ha maybe have a mediator telling us what to do, and nobody would feel bad mm. because everybody everybody sucks in a good way. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, there yeah. were a few there were a few tricky ones that I got sent that I didn't really know what to do with. So that'll be out yeah. tomorrow. So if you want to see me struggle to advise people on what to do in their <laughs> extreme Warhammer situations, there were some weird ones. Uh, I don't want to spoil no, it too don't, much. No, don't spoil it. No, I'll, uh, There's um, some I'll real freaky I'll, people out there. I'll, I'll definitely be watching. So yeah, uh, make sure. Make I sure want to do yeah. it again. I, yeah. there, was, there was hundreds and hundreds I, I received, which is great. But um, I think I, I picked some funny ones. I picked some weird ones and I picked some relatable yeah. ones. Another issue I had was that for like two two seconds. I know I talk a lot. No, go um, for it. Is that? Oh, Trent's here. Hi, Trent. I'm glad I managed to see one person in the chat. I just glanced. Um, another another issue that I had is like, I I got I got some people who I wanted to like tell off for being mean. So someone was like, I knowingly pushed a a young mother out of the gaming. Out of the out of the painting scene, and I was like, "You're a terrible person." But then everyone in my Twitch chat was like, "Don't even give them the time of day." Yeah. And I think I agree. I think I agree. Yeah. But like that 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 person, I just like I don't want to put that out there, and I also don't want people to see that and think that's what the yeah. Warhammer community is like. So hard avoid because there was a there was a chance that this video goes out and people take it the wrong way. Like, people think I'm laughing at Warhammer, and I'm laughing at Warhammer people. And every single fandom has, has this. Yeah. Every, single, every, every single fandom, every single like, genre of music has its share of people that kind of bring the mood down, act a little bit weird, or do questionable things. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not having a go at Warhammer. I want, I want everyone to be very clear at that. I, I love Warhammer. And we're just there to have a funny, funny laugh time. Yeah, yeah. So I hope it. I hope everyone takes it in the spirit it was yeah. intended to be. Um, yeah. And I'm sure they will. Yeah. I'm sure they will. Um, I'm just gonna. Yeah. I'm just gonna mention again that obviously, sorry everybody go. asking questions. I'm not gonna get round to everybody. I'm. I'm so we do some questions. Uh, so we do some quick fire questions. Well, obviously, it, can, you can. Yeah, we can. We can. We can. We can. Let's we do can. some quick fire questions. Yeah. I don't uh, mind. I'm used to it. Quick... So, well, uh, all right, I can get comfy. Yeah, get comfy. Uh, My uh, forehead is very shiny with the sweat. <laughs> it's like reflective. <laughs> um. Okay, we've got a question, which is just one. Uh, wet, wet blend or airbrush? Wet blend. Yeah. Oh, I like this kind of one. We can quick fire them. <laughs> wet blend all the way. Um, wet blend. Okay. Let's, let's go I can't be it. bothered cleaning airbrushes. It's too much maintenance for me. Uh, <laughs> uh, I think Lewis just commented about that he's had something similar happen to himself. Came to the conclusion that he regret it if he didn't try uh, and just hit it for a while. And then when a safe space and community presented itself, he could embrace the hobby goodness. That sounds nice. Yeah. That's a good sentiment. Um, what miniatures do you hope to see from the old world? 
Oh, I'd love Chaos Dwarves, obviously, but I think they've already said that they're not doing Chaos no, Dwarves. Not. So, whatever. And Skaven are my second favorite, and I think, have they said they're doing Skaven? This is uh, my want list. I don't care. No. Skaven. Skaven. There, Skaven. Yeah, yeah. Love Skaven. I, uh, I think I, I, oh, oh my god, love, this is why you and Rob are friends. I have, I have, <laughs> I have like, 3k of, like, Legion of Asgore. So does he. Yeah. So does he. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yay, he's Chaos obsessed. Dwarves. I, I love Chaos Dwarves too. Um, I did a tutorial on them recently. I saw. And now my mum is obsessed with Chaos Dwarves. So my mum obviously watches my channel, yeah. isn't into Warhammer, but she comes to Warhammer Fest and she loves it. Oh. But like awesome. something, something about that Chaos Dwarf mm. did something. And my mum calls me and she was like, what was that little man you painted? And I'm like, <laughs> do you mean, do you mean the Chaos Dwarf? And she was like, yes, I want him. I need that yeah. miniature. And I'm like, what is it? Something about the Chaos Dwarf just hit something like yeah. internally in my mum. Hi, hi, Martin. My old editor for Masterclass is here. Hi, hi, I see you. Lurking. <laughs> He's here. He's a good guy, don't worry. We love him. I'm just leaving too. Hi, hi. Hi, everyone. Hi. <laughs> we, we like him. He's a good egg. Anyway, should we do another question? Oh, go, yeah, go, 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 go. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, Skaven. Skaven and Chaos Dwarves. There you go. Bosh. Um, right, it goes back to my original place, so hold on. Uh... Louise, you are a Chaos Dwarf. Yeah. No, I'm not. Shut <laughs> up. <laughs> I'm average height. A lot of these things, a lot of these things aren't questions that just digs at me, so that's fine. Um... <laughs> Why are you like this? <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, uh, what is the most liberating experience since leaving G Dubs? Oh, I oh that is that everything. I that's a really tricky one. That's a really good question. I think the amount I've been able to do. And just being allowed to be kind of me, I think just the whole thing has just been incredibly liberating, like you said. Like, I, I can paint whatever I want, because before in Masterclass, I would, um, I would have to paint the, something to do with an upcoming release. And not everything that Warhammer releases, like, sparks joy. I love it all, love the IP, but... I think I speak for everyone where you don't want to paint every single miniature that comes out, but I had to. <laughs> so just the fact that I got to like paint something from Jim Henson's Labyrinth and then people were like, that's really cool. And I'm like, thank you. I agree. I also think that's really cool. And I can I can talk to people. And it's I, I think just like maybe the, the TLDR is just like being part of the community instead of watching the community from afar yeah because i always used to say i was like larping as a content creator because i never got to do what they do i never got to go to like fests mm -hmm. in the way they did i never got to like stream by my like and all, all that stuff um you only wanted to paint space for <laughs> shut up boys no i didn't martin martin's job is to watch paint dry so like haha <laughs> to him <laughs> But I think I think the most liberating thing is like breaking down the wall from me being the, part of Warhammer Games Workshop yeah. community team to being part of the Warhammer community mm -hmm. again, yeah. and that's that's been fantastic, and I've loved every second of it. Yeah. So that was a nice question, actually. Made really made me think. There you go. It literally. That's, 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 <laughs> uh, um, but yeah, good question. Yeah. Thank you. So. Um, said, uh, love the vibrant <coughs> colors. Do you find painting Lord of the Rings stuff less exciting? No, because I also paint it with vibrant colors. <laughs> I don't give a shit. I am. Um, I did a Thranduil, Thranduil warband for a um, what they what were they called? The Lord of the Rings like skirmish battle books. I laid the book out, but I don't know what it's oh, called. Oh, now you're. <laughs> you know what I mean? What are they called? Is it Battle, battle something? Company? Someone in the chat. Battle Company, yes. I did a battle, I did a um, Halls of Therangel Battle Company yeah. for a book, for one of the books. And I don't know which one it is. If you've got them at home, you can probably find it. But I just did them brightly coloured. I did it slightly more muted, but I did like very vibrant greens blended into like very yellowy beiges. And 
I still kept it in my style. I'd love to be able to try Blanche Shih Tzu sometimes because I think it would be really funny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, but uh, no, I, 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 I paint and I painted uh, Tom Bombadil in his wedding clothes, mm. which was like little yellow boots and little like um, flowers around his uh, cloak and stuff. So there's still a lot of like color and whimsy in Lord of the Rings. It mm-hmm. doesn't need to be drab at all. Good question. Yeah. These are all really good questions. You have smart followers. My followers are like, what's what's your favorite flavor of paint? <laughs> I'm <laughs> selectively sure asking them. <clears throat> okay, good. <laughs> okay. I'm, Gandalf the pearlescent. I'm, 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 Love it. I'm, I'm going to go over to one of one of my questions now. Go for this it. Go for it. The one that I usually ask people um, okay. that I have as guests. So, um, if you could bring mm-hmm. back... Uh-oh one miniature and get rid of one miniature oh what would they be bring back the old pink horrors which were the ones that were like bursting out of themselves Hmm. i've always said those were like my favorite um those were my favorite like take on zinch because it's like constantly changing yeah and i think it like encapsulates zinch so much so i would like not only to bring them back but for them to get like a redesign to make a modern yeah, because yeah. I think it would be incredible. As far as delete, can we just say Primaris Chaplin number four? Like Mambo number five. If that, if that, we should make that song. If we should make Chaplin number five <laughs> and just there name is, all the Primaris Chaplin, Chaplin number five. <laughs> <laughs> we can name them all as well. I love it. You and me, buddy. I'll write yeah. I'll write the song, you can do the vocals. And yeah, you, I don't you, know. You, I, I think Carry on, carry on. No, I was going to say, you actually make music, don't you? I know, I will hold you to this. You're in trouble. (laughs) I I make music too. (gasps) Then there we go, Mambo Uh, Mambo number five. It's happening. It's happening. Chaplain number six. Chaplain number five. The the thing is, (laughs) I was toying around with making a uh, a Warhammer themed, like, comedy band. Uh, There you go. There you go. I've already, I've already got a whole like, so like me too, because I think everyone that makes music and plays Warhammer has had the same idea. And I've already partially written um, an entire pop punk song with vocals um, called My Heart Beats uh, Like a Dacagon (laughs) with with my friend. And it's, 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 it's really, really good is what I'll say. Um, Well, Oh, um, I think I think I think we call our band Pile of Shame. Pile, pile of Shame. Yeah, Pile of <laughs> Shame. Yeah, love it. And love I think it. we we were gonna do a uh, I think we were gonna do a cover. I think we were gonna do um, Fifty Shades S- of Grey. No, uh, we were gonna do uh, <laughs> Sweet Home Holy Terror. Oh my gosh, I love it! I love it! I want to do. I'm gonna do a whole video in the future about like Warhammer and its effect on the music scene as well yeah. where i talk about like bulk thrower and d-rock and debauchery mm. and stuff like that not debauchery the concept there's a band called debauchery i want to make that very oh clear. my so- god oh my god that, that comment <laughs> i'm so is- sorry <laughs> what what have you seen that- with your elf eyes oh that comment is great okay what comment what have they said dawn with the backwards uh Oh, <laughs> that's quite. That's quite that's funny. Quality. <laughs> I quite. I quite like that. That's, that's uh, Okay. Yeah, but that's I quite good. So, okay. We, okay. We, we, we know you quite like your music and stuff like that. Top three yes. bands. Go. Oh, don't! I love summoning. Um, I can't. I can't do. I love Iron Maiden. I love Iron Maiden very much. Um, God, I don't know. And then probably some like terrible. 80s pop band like Duran Duran <laughs> maybe is it oh no oh gosh I don't I hate this question it's no, like if someone I, I, A I get performance anxiety B I, 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 I like question. too much it was music. a cruel question I love, and... I love Iron Maiden Summoning's always in my top three I love Iron Maiden because I love I, I, they're just great and then yeah. it's like anyone's guess yeah. after that I'm out I have, yeah. I have no idea I know, I know bands. Yes, Maiden. Okay, good. We all, we all love our Maiden in here. And then it's like probably some terrible power metal band like Blind Guardian, because I listened to them nonstop when I was fifteen, and I'm, I have the same music taste now as when I was fifteen, and I'm not ashamed. 
Favorite. <laughs> I'm a little ashamed. Favorite Iron Maiden album. Oh, I don't oh. know. Oh. I I'm controversial. I like their newer stuff. I I I I I know I know I know I know because I quite because I quite like um cheesy power metal. Mm. So I quite like their newer stuff. What was their newest newest one that had like the samurai? Yeah, yeah to be honest, Is it I, Senjutsu? I, 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 yeah, I stopped listening. I loved it. No, it's really good. It's honestly very good. Like I have the same relationship with like Megadeth as well, where I'm like. I'm gonna be disappointed, and I am a bit disappointed by Dave Mustaine because I think he's like a weird Christian now. <laughs> but <laughs> but um, every time they release an album, I'm like, actually, this is quite good. Actually, yeah. anything not Blaze Bailey is acceptable. I love Blaze Bailey. Leave, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> shut, right. shut your mouth. I love cheesy stuff, but yeah, again, very, yeah. very tricky. I'm not sure because I am. Um, I also live because I'm quite. I'm not quite young, but I grew up on things like Spotify as opposed to buying records and buy, buying albums. So I think for a lot of younger generations, it's it's more about individual yeah. songs than it is albums. Because um, I, I oh Arion, there is one of my favorite ones. Because do you like Arion? I don't know. They're a great band. That's one of the bands because Arion make concept albums. Mm. So in that case, it's an album you listen to right. all the way right. through because it's right. a story. So in that, that's like one of the very rare cases where yeah. I go into a band and I listen to just an album. There's obviously a few albums which slap all the way through. But um, if you're of a younger generation, a lot of the time when someone asks what your favorite album is, you're like, I don't know. I listen to all the songs that already exist. <laughs> so tricky question. Caught me off in guard that. with that one. I, <laughs> you may have noticed what my favorite Iron Maiden album is. What? I can't see. Oh, damn! I can't. Which one's that? See, I don't know. Peace of mind. Is it Fear of the dark. Peace of mind. Ah, there you go. There yeah. you go. You see, I don't recognize albums. I'm terrible. Yeah. So. I'm a, I'm okay. a poser. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. I didn't know you had an Iron Maiden tattoo. I've got so many tattoos. I should get, it's ridiculous. I should get an Iron Maiden tattoo. I don't have any. I suck. Yeah. I uh, I hate needles. So. <laughs> It's, it's, it's different. It's fine. Go I hear for it. it's different. Go, go for it. I've had piercings before. I reckon I could do it. Yeah. Apparently, like if you get one, then you're like set off That's for what life. Happened and to then me. You're, like, That's what happened to yes. me. Yeah, I hear that. I hear like uh, yeah. the first one is always like, oh, I don't know what to get. I don't know if I even should get one. And then when once you've got one, it's yeah. like yeah. your body's covered. Yeah, I think I, Louise I is literally. Of I, got, I am scared of I got a, um, <laughs> a Green Day tattoo. My first one. Oh, baby, how old were you when you got that? Uh, oh, jeez. I'm going to guess 22. I feel like 22 is he. What? You know, I, 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 I'm were you younger? Think. Older? It was like 2004. I, I have no I idea how old you are. 30, <laughs> doesn't help. 35. So. Oh, I assumed you were younger. You look. Oh, look at you! <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> look at you with the I, I with the good skin an and the glowing paper face. Out. I had such an easy paper look round. Look at that! Yeah, but yeah, <laughs> I got the Green Day one, which was a cool. uh, a warning one. Look at that! Yeah, yeah. And then I went straight in. My next one was a whole knee to ankle, all the Slipknot masks. Oh my! Oh, that! I wish you could get that out on stream. I would. Love this. Don't don't even try. You'll fall over <laughs> into your cabinet. It's a terrible idea. Um, no, I've not got one tattoo because like, I've never been sure of anything in my entire no. life. Not one thing. Not not a single thing. So I I cannot guarantee that I wouldn't hate my tattoo the day after I get it. <laughs> I'd like an elder sign. I'd like something Lovecraftian. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's something I know I've loved forever. Um, and I'd like something Warhammer. I'd get a Zinch symbol, I'd get an Orc symbol, and I'd get something I, akin to an Elder I sign. would judge you have if you didn't. Do I, no, I don't. I love that you had to think No, about it. yeah, I know, right? <laughs> but no, no, it might be mainly music related. Oh, oh, I don't know, because, like, what if your band gets cancelled? No, yeah, well, well. I, well what if, like, what the it is. band you like gets cancelled? Like, it is. It happens. Um, it happens. 
But no, um, I, I don't, but I would judge you if you didn't get a tattoo of uh, Sassy Nurgle. Tattoo. tattoo. Oh, somebody! Ta I love the way Northern people. Are you Northern? I'm not, Where are you no, from? no, I'm not. I'm, well. Or no. English people. Let's yeah, say I'm English not, people. Not. They pick. There's, there are three T's in tattoo. Three T's. Tattoo. And y'all just pick and choose tattoo. in which one you want to pronounce. It's the first T, and then after that, no more T's. Yeah. Tattoo. Tattoo. <laughs> tattoo. But um, someone got someone got a sassy nurgling oh. tattooed. Oh really? But they used they used my paint job as the coloring. That's awesome. It was so good. Yeah. I because like. I don't know what to tell them, <laughs> but um, it was a great tattoo, but uh, yeah, they use my colour scheme as, as the inking, which is cool, but now I don't, it's very overwhelming that that's on their skin forever <laughs> until the, and then like, maybe if they get mummified, that would be there forever, forever, and that would be really True. cool. True. When, they, when they dig up that person's body and it's a mummy, they will be like, what was this creature? <laughs> Although I reckon our Warhammer will outlast us because it's plastic and it yeah, doesn't degrade. True, true. So like Warhammer may be like a big archaeological find because it doesn't degrade. Mm. That's... Cool. <laughs> yeah. Right. Go on to the next question because I'll just go on tangents. There is no other forever. questions. I've, I've totally lost. Are we it. done? No, we're not. We're, 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 we're not done. Oh. But they're just so <laughs> like, honestly, I can't. Like they don't. The only thing is, wow, well, guys. <laughs> They don't even go in order. Oh, we're sorry. Either way, we should probably round off because it's nearly nine yeah. o'clock. Yeah, and exactly. that means that means it's sleepy bedtime for me. It is sleepy under bedtime. Under my desk. So all, all, sleepy uh, bedtime. All, all it does mean as well is that, that Louise will have to come back on at some point and um and, I'd and love finish, to. I'll finish answering all your questions. If that's okay with everyone, if that's okay with you. Yeah. I um I've had really good fun. Yeah. Of course, it's been super yeah. good fun. Sure. Anytime. Yay. Yeah, it's been awesome. Good. Um, yes. Good. Uh, oh, God, here we go. Now all the questions come in. Stop it. It's favourite Skaven clan. My favourite Skaven is Queek. Here we are. Done. That <laughs> but no. I don't know what um, my favourite clan is. What I will, um, what I will just end this on then is a massive thank you to everybody that's joined in and commented. Sorry, we haven't got round to everything. It's been absolutely mental in the chat, and I'm not used to that. So, thank you very much, Yay. everyone. Thank you to everyone. I've seen I've got a few new followers. Okay. So thank you very much, all those new oh, followers. Peeps. Thank you very much. If you haven't already, please do consider following. Have a look at all my whips. I, I would. Actually... I would. I just started following him, and it's yeah, a great yeah, exactly. choice. <laughs> you, can actually, you can actually look at all the models that I've been talking about. Um, <laughs> but no, um, if you have, if you haven't already, please do go and follow Louise. I will tag you in this post when it goes back out. That's and, very kind of you. Yeah. No. And go and uh, make sure you subscribe and follow and all that jazz on Twitch and YouTube. I will also put links to all that jazz in the description. That's a lot um, of work for you. I'm just going to chill. <laughs> I'm going to it right away. Okay, bad. <laughs> Give yourself some time. <laughs> exactly. I need some time away from this. It's a pressure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but no, um, and a massive thank you to you, Louise, for agreeing to come and do this. Not a problem. Anytime. Like it's I said, amazing. I'd love to come back. Um, I feel like we have a lot of catching up to do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, so yeah, keep... Um, I'll, I'll, I'll try and be more prepared for like albums it's cool. and it's bands cool. it's been, and It's things. been a blast, honestly. And <laughs> just just keep doing what you're doing with your your stuff. You're absolutely smashing it, honestly. Thank you. Thank you so um, much. And no, thank you everyone who's like watched my videos yeah. and supported me. It means so much yeah. to me because it was very scary. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, and if you want to support Louise even further, I think you've got Patreon as well. I think I do somewhere. Go and sort that. <laughs> go, go. You, you know where to go. I don't need to explain to you. I'm not... You know what to do. You know what you're doing in you, you, you don't need You've been here before. telling you what to do. But, um, These nah. two old, old, old people just telling you how things work. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. You should be telling me how to do things. I ain't got a clue. Um, so, no. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you, Louise.